Hi, my name is Vision, and I've been under care with Christina here for about a year and a half. And uh, before care with Christina here, I was having a trigeminal neuralgia. And that's basically an inflammation or a compression of the nerve over here, and I was getting electrocuted in the face randomly when I would move my head from side to side. I would just get a random zap or a boom. And then I would have this constant allodonia where it was just the sensation of air or anything passing across my face would cause an unusual pain. I couldn't do any gardening, I couldn't be outside, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't brush my hair. Um, there was really a lot of things, all the basic necessities of daily living had come to a halt. Um, I pretty much spent most of my day just trying to find a way to end the suffering. Um, when I found Christina, she was able to do the x-ray of the back of my neck and find the problem in my C1, C2 back here. And uh, through doing that, I was able to well, the first summer I was with Christina, I was able to go, I wasn't even going to, but I was able to leave and go on a camping trip with some of my girlfriends. And, <laughs> I was able to actually go and do that. Since that time, I've been able to wear my hair back and ponytails again, and I can drive with the car down. And this year, I was able to grow a pretty substantial garden outside. And uh, I really had a lot of the quality of life come back that I didn't know was even, I mean, that I lost. <laughs> you don't even realize how much you miss your life, though, until it's gone. And so I had this expectation before I came to chiropractic care that, um, well, honestly, because I had been to regular chiropractic care before I came to upper cervical, that um, it may cause a little bit of, alleviate a couple of symptoms for maybe a, a day or two, and, and then I would have to keep coming, and then, you know, like two or three times, and we'd have to be here and just alleviate the symptoms over and over again. But um, I found that with upper cervical, I'm able to start learning to hold the neck again, the proper training, and I've had... I mean, not just my neck, I mean, it has improved the symptoms that I've had in my face and my neck, but I can also feel that I'm walking with more balance, and when I start to feel vertigo or off balance, I'm able to actually catch myself a little faster, so. I also thought that, because it was neurological, I thought that chiropractic cared with the muscles, and I didn't think that there was any way those could be neurologically related. So, there's like this, there's this thing that I heard, this wise proverb I heard not too long ago that said, mm. Those who have their health have many wishes. Those who don't have their health have but one wish. And so I would just say to anyone who doesn't, who, who's in the same situation, who needs that upper cervical care, to make that commitment for yourself, to make that, that investment for yourself. It, you'll, you'll never know what kind of things you can get back unless you give it a try. And I know that I even like, kind of doubted those things at first because I thought that seems too simple and this is too complex. So I just say if you think it's too simple and too complex, just give it a try because sometimes even the easier things work out better than the hard ones.